Welcome to the Late Late Show. Thanks for stopping by on tonight's show. We'll be chatting with Regina Hall. Later, we got a performance from Moby. You don't wanna, you don't wanna miss that. Moby, Moby's been involved in the show, hasn't he? Yes. You've texted Moby a few times during the show. I have. Have you talked to him about his appearance today? I forgot that he was on. Um, let me text him. <laughs> yeah, text him. Let's make sure he's gonna be on the show. Just say, hey man, just checking that you're all good for the Late Late Show. I do this with all the guests. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, look who's in the studio today, guys. First time. Back in. Oh. Back in since, uh, you remember coronavirus? I do. You remember coronavirus? I First do. First show, back in. LD, Lawrence Dye in the house. There he is. Wow. Look at this guy. Wow. Look at this guy. Wow. So happy to see you, Lawrence. You've had, you've had some big hits on the air during, during lockdown. What have you done? You did Maybe I'm Immune. Yeah. One Day More. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. You did uh, the bit with the big skeleton, which felt like a mistake as soon as it arrived. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was, it's, not all been, it's not all been good. It's a very tall skeleton, so. Very tall skeleton. I thought it would have worked. <laughs> that's really what the whole bit was based on, and it felt like a mistake the second we started doing it, didn't it? <laughs> was it during Halloween, even? It was, it was during Halloween. Okay. No, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was the height of, height of Halloween, height of skeleton popularity. We were tapped in to the virality. I mean, <laughs> That's it. It should, on paper, it worked. We were tapped into the virality. Yeah, it, yeah it was, of course we were. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were real tapped in. <laughs> you, you couldn't get those skeletons. We got ourselves one. And I where think is that... it now? Where is that skeleton now, Rob? We I think we might have rented it. from a family that just had one in their yard, and Rosie went to their door. Yeah. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we, we, they were really hard to find. I mean, Lawrence is right. It was a very viral moment for giant skeletons. Unfortunately, it wasn't a viral moment on this show. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Cece? <laughs> Moby's on the show. How are you feeling? Great. Great. <laughs> we yeah? texted about it earlier a little bit. Sorry? Yeah, we texted about it earlier. Did you? We did. We mostly just send each other memes, but... Um, oh, so you're still, you're still yeah. in contact? You're still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, sure, we're cool, we're, we're chill. Fine. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah you're you a know. cool person. How long cool ago person. was it that you were Mrs. Moby? Um, like, at least 10 years ago, because I've been married for seven years. Right, so 10 years ago. Yeah. Was he excited about being on the show? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's... When you're with Moby, when you're Mrs... Do you call him Moby? Or do you call him, like, I don't know what his, his, his real name, Moby? Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone calls him Moby or Mo. 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 Yeah, of yeah. course, you go Mo. Go short. His real name is Richard, but no one calls him that. So he's Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's probably that's astonishing from. that that's never come out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, his performance tonight is brilliant. You see, like, with a full... Is it the Philharmonic Orchestra? It's, it's a, a massive full symphony, yeah. It's yeah, a massive it's symphony amazing. and a gospel choir. And there's a, the girl who's singing the songs is like extraordinary. Yeah, it's really good. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. Low energy in here tonight, guys. Why is that? Do you think post Obama? Oh, yeah. Obama come down. It's the Obama come down. Yeah. It's the Obama come down. That's what we're all experiencing. Yesterday it was a hive. <laughs> it was a hive of of just frenetic energy, and now we're like, ah. Yeah. Well, it's tough in the mono now, because we're not now that we're not allowed to talk about products or anything, it's difficult. <laughs> they clipped our wings. It's, it's tough. I hope they're watching this over. Do they watch the live feed, Nick? The main uh, cheeses? So, uh, sometimes they do, but yeah. I don't know day to day. OK, tell them to tune in. Say, so this is what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> tell, them to, tell them to watch. Tell them to watch bits from last week. Feel the energy in here tonight. <laughs> What's different? <laughs> I know this is a surprise to you, but some people don't want their business out on national television, and that is <laughs> our sales department. Sorry, sorry. You're saying the sales department, whose job it is to integrate products on television, <laughs> don't want products to be talked about that on television. That is not what I said. That <laughs> might be the issue. <laughs> I don't know. Just a thought, Nick. I don't know. I'm glad you're wearing a, I'm glad you're wearing a long-sleeved sweater so no one can see the marks on your wrists after the slapping they got at the weekend. <laughs> 
I'm yeah. not one who goes to the principal's office often, and you've turned me into that oh. person. Oh. No, 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 nor am I. I'm just no. Look, where everyone, everyone is having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to get fired for sweatpants. So. No, you did not. No, I, I didn't, <laughs> but I was. I was a little nervous. I was actually just pleasantly surprised when I swiped my badge and I still was allowed onto the lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't talk about it, because we're not we're gonna have to recap the viewers on what happened. And well, then... I think you do need to tell the viewers what happened. Roll the clip. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> we got into a little hot water. That's it. We got in some hot water. That's we what talking happened. About it products. wasn't boiling hot. I'd say it was warm. It was done in the nicest way. So it was a, it was a, a warm, I wouldn't say it was a bath. It was, a, it was a face splash. Yes, we got splashed. It was a, it was a, it was a super soaker. <laughs> That's what it was. We got a little, we got a little, we got a little talking to. Just Go. saying, guys, pump the brakes on the old... <laughs> trying to get free stuff from... <laughs> <laughs> big corporations. <laughs> um, yeah, what are we going to do about this funk that we got in here? How are we going to get it back? Maybe talk about the news. <laughs> All right, well, it's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> President Biden was in Michigan today visiting Ford Motor Company's electric vehicle plant. As part of the visit, Biden was given a test drive of the new electric version of Ford's popular pickup, the F-150 Lightning. It was only a test drive, but Biden made sure to install his dancing hula girl on the dashboard. Here's... <laughs> Biden driving the truck. Mr. President. This sucker is quick. <laughs> <laughs> this sucker's quick. Mr. President. You just, you just know that moment is like 50% of the reason Joe Biden got into politics. <laughs> I hope someone edits Biden into every scene of the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this. <laughs> this sucker's <is> quick. <laughs> New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced that starting tomorrow, the state will no longer require masks or social distancing for vaccinated people. In the announcement, Cuomo said, let's get back to life. Which for New Yorkers means convincing yourselves that it makes complete sense to pay $3,000 a month to sublet a stranger's supply closet. <laughs> That's it. No more social distancing, which means vaccinated New Yorkers will once again be allowed to dance in a fountain with their current roommate, their next door neighbors, their older brother and former roommate. <laughs> Those of us in California, however, are going to have to wait a little longer. California has no plans to lift the indoor mask mandate for vaccinated people until June 15th. So you still have some time to make sure you're vaxxed, waxed and that lip filler's stacked. <laughs> what should we do June 15th? What should we do when it's all what should we do on the show? I think what should we, should we do? We should do a strip tease. Strip tease? Yeah, it's just like wow, 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 wow. I think that followed by apple bobbing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realise how much I'd miss apple bobbing this past, <laughs> and I've really missed it. Like it was difficult. Yeah. At the first bit, and then I've just you know it's been a constant push. <laughs> when can we apple bob? September. When can we apple bob? March. When can we apple bob? You know. I I just, I haven't had my, I've just not been in there for ages. Yeah. <laughs> How did apple bobbing start as a thing? What is apple bob? You don't know what apple bobbing is? Oh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Bring in the bucket! <laughs> um, <laughs> apple bobbing, I'm joking, is absurd. It's you get a big, like, tank of water. Uh, it can be any tank from any store, not going to mention brands. And... <laughs> And you fill it with apples, any range of apples from any store. We're not affiliated to any particular brand of apples. You can <laughs> bob whichever apples you want. OK? And the water's full. You put your hands behind your back. And is it you race against someone else or you just do it on your own? Yeah, it's usually somebody else in there, I think. In the same I think tank. you're going faces in, right? Or are you trying to get the most apples at one time? So, and then there's apples. 
floating on the top, and you've got to put your head in and get an uh -huh, and yeah, and then... That's why I asked the question, how did it start? And how has it remained? It's the Celtics. It's basically like Xbox for when people regularly died from wolf attacks. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> that would that be it. That makes sense. And that's why I would start with the Celtics. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Oh. <laughs> Please keep going, Reggie. <laughs> go on, do some more. Give us some Celtic. about this. According to a new report, airlines could soon start weighing passengers before flights. Due to new federal requirements about weight load, passengers could be asked to disclose their weight or step on a scale before boarding the flight. I mean, that's not good news. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows at an airport you're already retaining at least five pounds of Cinnabon weight alone. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be so embarrassing, particularly for me. Like, if, if they tell me my weight at the airport, I'm going to be like, no, that's actually not true. I don't weigh that much. I'm actually smuggling drugs. <laughs> that's less embarrassing for me. I've got 35 pounds of cocaine in my stomach. <laughs> I mean, I don't like this. Do you, Ian? It's, it is time, finally, that flying became a somewhat unpleasant experience. Yeah. <laughs> Up Particularly if you're big. Yeah. Up until now, if you were overweight on an airplane, it was like paradise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. When you, you, know. walk, you walk down the aisles and everybody's looking at you, frowning, because yeah. they know they'll never be as cool as you are. Yeah. <laughs> and they're looking at the empty seat behind the, behind, next to them, looking at you, looking at the seat, looking, and you know, deep down, they're thinking, oh, I wish I had a cool person like that yeah. sitting next to me. <laughs> You hear them almost praying under their breath, praying that you're the one who sits next to them? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then the, the seatbelts, what I love then, about yeah, those. And then you've got the lovely stewardess comes up and goes, you're so cool, I'm going to give you an additional piece of fabric. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, the nice thing is she lets everyone know it's coming down the aisle. Yeah, she yeah, doesn't yeah. hold it down here. It's up here, like yes. she caught it fishing. Because she wants everyone to know there's a cool person on the plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And did everybody hear about this? A California woman claims that she had the winning ticket for the $26 million state lottery, but she accidentally destroyed it by running it through the washing machine before she could cash it in. I think she misunderstood the phrase money laundering. <laughs> She's out $26 million. But look at it this way. She does have a funny story to tell at cocktail parties. <laughs> You're not going to believe that. Yeah, you won't... Go on, tell them. Tell them what you did. You won't believe it. Go on, tell them. Tell, turn the music down. Tell them about the ticket. <laughs> you know what it sounds like to me, Susan? The woman's washer did her dirty. <laughs> that's, where, that's where we're at, Nick. <laughs> that's where it'll be. That's my, that's my fault. All of our writers were busy today returning their Gap sweatpants so they couldn't yeah. write jokes. Oh. <laughs> they were all busy writing handwritten letters to the president of the network, apologizing. You know, I used to write... I wrote everyone here a handwritten letter at the holidays, and there's at least two people now who will not be getting a handwritten letter this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's about the most I can do. That's about, <laughs> that's about the most I can do. I love your handwritten letters. They're always so lovely. They are. I hope you're here at Christmas to send us one. <laughs> <laughs> 
And finally, we wanted to show you this. A company has just released a new hard seltzer that contains 5% alcohol, zero sugar, and tastes like pickle juice. It's called Hard Pickle Seltzer. I got a lot of questions. First, why is a cowboy riding a pickle rocket? <laughs> the hard beverage contains 5% alcohol, no sugar, and a 100% guarantee that you will not be invited back to that party. <laughs> pickle juice seltzer. I hope it's bigger than their last product, boozy hot dog water. <laughs> and that's it. That is today's news. You're up to date. <laughs>